I'm at uh, Circuito Yepes uh, with uh, Nick Cronin and this is our sort of part two of testing the rear finger brake system from Hell Performance. Uh, you might have seen our first video which showed uh, the finger brake that we'd mounted on a super motorbike. Uh, there it is. And Nick ran that at the first round of the Spanish Championship. And the thing you find with this finger brake is just one long line all the way down through, going to the standard OEM caliper, um, different disc and carrier, but we've done away with the with the pedal. And Nick's been getting on really well with that, haven't you Nick? Yes, yes I have. Yeah, <laughs> just got used to it. It's taken a bit of time, but it's um, definitely hardwired in now and can't think of riding without it now. And you liked it so much that uh, you went out and brought another one. Yes. Why was that? Yes, well, because again, if I'm not out racing on, uh, on supermotos, um, doing road racing. So whether that be in the Spanish Championship or in BSB in the UK, uh, obviously transferring skills from supermoto to road racing is brilliant. Um, and then obviously all the hard work that um, the guys have done at, well, supermoto land, it's um, that the, it, the, basically all the hard work they put into doing the rear finger brake. I definitely want to try it for road racing as well. And as a result, uh, yesterday we put the put the same system onto my training R6 that also lives down here. Uh, 2010 R6 plumbed in the uh, exactly the same system, same size front lever. Uh, all the way through to the uh, to actually a new uh, brake caliper and hanger at the back, and it was again tested it around uh, around here at Yepes, and it was absolutely fantastic. I mean, it bear, you know, bedding in the top of the uh, brake pads, you know, just the, the transition from riding it aggressively on the supermoto to testing it around here. The the transition has been fantastic. So, I'll tell you what, I can't imagine now riding a road race bike without one either. So, the, the, the first thing, I'm going to point out the details here, but when I've seen these on uh, road racing bikes before, like uh, Jonathan Ray and, and uh, I think some of the Lowe's, um, Sam Lowe's maybe, but the clutch lever goes above on their bikes and points up in the air, but you've managed to position it like we have on the Supermoto that you can... Well, you've developed a new word. What, what's the new word for the technique used? Was it multi-fingerous, I believe? Ambi, ambi-fingerous. Ambi, you've it. heard of ambidextrous. This is ambi-fingerous. Ambi yeah, Sh show it. us, Nick. What's ambi-fingerous? So, so what this allows you to do now is, even though... So I've got a quick shifter, but no auto blicker. So basically it means that going through the box is fine, but if you want to go, you know, change it back up, then obviously you still need to use the clutch. And having it this way round, which, as I say, exactly the same as on the Supermoto, allows you to change with the clutch, but also still, still sort of feather the rear brake. So it means you can start, you know, you can play around sliding in, in like back in the bike in, um, trail braking in a bit as well with the front, and being able to basically modulate both at the same time. And it's, it sounds quite complicated, but actually it's, it's much easier than it sounds. Yeah, obviously needs a little bit of training to, to get used to. So you, you've now got no rear brake system on this bike with, a, with regards to a pedal, you've, you've taken all of that off. Yes. So you, everything's just on the finger through to a, it was this L, L74 hanger? Yeah. You got, yeah, yeah guys, L... L74, that's a, it's a basically a custom, custom hanger for the Hell rear brake system. Yeah. Um, because obviously the original standard system for the back sits above the rear swing arm. Yeah. What they've done is it's, it's actually obviously makes it easier to get the rear brake out, rear, rear wheel out anyway. But yeah, basically it hangs below it. And as I say, the, uh, compared to this, I think it's a Nissan system on the back, but I'm going to say the, the Hell rear brake system with the L74 hanger is just a brilliant combination. And now with your finger and use just one finger on that, don't you? Just one, one finger. Um, that's all you need. And, and you I can mean, get, get to it everywhere. Everywhere. All, no yeah. problem. And the other thing is, of course, is, you know, having both, uh, I don't know if it's a personal preference, but I like to have both brakes roughly at the same basically the same level yeah and even with the clutch dropped and having it where the rear brake is it's you can have everything as, as standard as possible so it's it's almost second nature yeah so you you can basically be trailing that rear brake 
mid corner, out of the corner, like really control, tightening your line. Absolutely, tra absolutely. Obviously, trail breaking into the corners. Yes. Um, easy to reach, always, always there as a always. safety as well. Yeah, even with your, even with elbow down. So around at Yep is there's some places you can, you will definitely be trailing the elbow, then you can still, you know, hanging off the right, you can still really easily get to the, uh, the right dealer. Yeah. Right dealer. And that's all come from fitting the system to the supermoto bike and then uh, basically realising because uh, Loris obviously worked on this beforehand and he said how good it was and uh, so we, we fitted it to your bike and then obviously you've fallen in love with it and now it's gone onto your road race bike as well. So. And it's incredible how similar they are as well because I think one of the principles that I've always raced by is if you are going swapping from bike to bike, it's just trying to get the, the, the basic bits as similar as possible. Yeah. So with the Brembo front master cylinders, it's exactly the same as on that one. And then now with the rear brake system on there, it's um, it's incredible how similar they are. And just, so just tell everyone, because this is your first day here, trying to get an R6 round a, round a cart track. <laughs> How did that go? What was that like? It was hard work. It yeah. was really hard work. What I've learned is it's amazing training for yeah. either for road racing. And actually, what I learned is not only is it amazing training for road racing, but it's actually going back onto the supermoto afterwards. Yeah. So I jumped from the arse back onto the supermoto, and it felt like there was nothing under you at all, which made it really easy. So. And it, it's quite, quite evident you're doing this because you're seeing, I mean, it's the end of the day now, they've all cleared off, but a lot of the Spanish kids are here with, uh, you know, like sort of 14, 15 year old Spanish kids training for the Junior World Championships. And they're on, they've got exactly the same sort of combination, an R6 and maybe a supermoto or a mini bike. And they're just jumping between the two. I think we had Daniel Holgado was here a couple of weeks ago, wasn't he? And we, yeah. we saw him doing it and you realize that's the sort of physical training you need to be doing to get to the top, mate. Right? It really is. And one, the other thing I learned from that as well is if we hadn't fitted the uh, rear brake system to it, it would have made it so much harder. But it, one of the best things about throwing this around a cart track, especially one like this, is it gives you, it gives you so much more confidence with that, that rear finger brake as well. Because it's, it's, as I say, it, it just allows you to get through all the tight and stuff. stuff. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. And a lot more power than a thumb brake. You can Incredible. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I used to in fact we took off the thumb brake to uh, to fit the the finger brake and it's just it's it's night and day. The amount of stopping power you can get through the thing through the lever as opposed to the thumb brake. And easier um, to get to as well, easier yeah. Easier to get to and again you get more feel through the lever as well. Yeah. To, when I was using the thumb brake, you can get a bit of feel, but it's you get the same feel through the rear, rear like finger brake as you do with for your front brake, effectively. So modulating it so much easier. Cool, brilliant. Well, thanks, Nick, and uh, so a big thumbs up to Hell Performance. Thank you very much, Hell Performance. Yeah, brilliant. Thank you.